hello everyone welcome to our new session so today i will show you how you can check um the user our uh, user rsrp rsrq um, from the system from the utility duty and some the interference checking how to check the cell level interference so i will show you those things it's very easy from the system you can directly check from here so firstly we need to go to the same learning trace management you need to click on that uh, i have already opened from, uh, previously because it takes a lot of time to open so after that if you want to check um, the users rsrp rsrq um, you can check from here here is the down in rsrp rsrq monitoring from here you can check but um, I would recommend there is another common platform to uh, to see a few other things for the user. I would recommend that you go to user common monitoring. From here actually um, uh, you can see a few more things or not only RSRP, RSRQ. You can see uh, uh, the throughput and the CQI also. So I would recommend you check from here uh, rather than only the rsrp rsrq you can uh, check the cqi and throughput also from here so this is a common platform so we create a new um, new uh, a new project here and i will show you one of my previous because um currently there is no um, the mc i have that has no um value right now so i will show you one of my previous uh, project uh, task here so that i can at least show you what what's the outcome of the results so we uh, create a new one and we give the necessary team z and uh, mmc mme a number so that's this is the things you will uh, see from this window that the serial number you can see the crnti then if you have uh, the carrier aggregation you can see the, on that then uh, you will be able to see the sinr then the power headroom then uh, the pucch rsrp sinr you see the cc level the cqi then what is the ta what uh, the user is in which ta you can see that then actually you can see the throughput also from here so from here actually you can see a lot of common things from here but to check only the rsrp rsrq you can go to another separate tab which is actually named uh, rsrp rsrq so i will show you that one also but i may not be able to show you the data but i can show you a blank one what's uh it is monitoring so uh same as like before you can create a task and like what it will show you the you know the id and those things then pc serving pci you see the serving cell rsrp serving cell rsrq it will also show you the neighbor it's uh, receiving the neighbor PCI, neighbors RSRP and RSRQ also. So actually from uh, from system also, you can check what is the user's performance, how much uh, he is actually getting, uh, if he is giving any customer complaint. So why is he giving the complaint? Is his a real RSRP and RSRQ is poor or not? You can directly check from here. So it's very easy. You don't need to send a team physically to the to the user premises. So to check the uh, user radio condition, you can directly check from here. So it's very easy. It makes life easy. So another thing is the I want to show you is the interference. So interference also a very good thing to check because um, the LT and both LD and 3G is very highly impacted by uh, interference uh, from here actually from the system we can check the interference even um, the RB level uh, PRB level uh, interference we can monitor from here you see the interference detect 
monitoring from here you can create a new task you can create a new task you can uh, select one cell to check you can first give a name of the cell uh, sorry give a name of the task then you can uh, select the cell from your uh, network then you click next you don't need to give the main you node know, ID. It's not mandatory. You can see the the uh, the star marks. It, those are the only mandatory fields they need to fill up. So I will give a, a local cell ID. Suppose randomly. Then I click finish. Then it will show you the interference level. I have double click on the task. So you see, um, it's showing the um, what I'll show you what it's showing. You see the cell average interference noise power. So it's 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 showing that this is the average one, and you will see if I scroll to my right, it will show you um, for every PRB what is the noise you see rb1 rb2 rb3 rb4 because uh, this uh, network is 10 megahertz network so i will get 50 rbs so you can check for each rb it's showing the its interference level interference level how much in each rb suppose sometimes uh, our few particular few uh, rbs get interfered by some particular frequency suppose one of our frequency is interfered so which impact a fewer of our rbs so from here actually you can check that which rbs are actually impact maybe with some features you can puncture those rbs you can uh, separate those rbs see only up to 49 means it's from 0 to 49 there's 50 rbs after that um, uh, all of them are not available so if you have more like 20 megahertz or 15 megahertz bandwidth all of them will be fill up up to 100 so currently as our network is 10 megahertz so it's showing up to uh, 50 rbs interference level so in this is uh, this is the way you can check the in noise and interference level uh, from the monitoring uh, window also so uh, i hope that this will help you to check the interference and uh, the user signal level uh, from the system without going to the user premises so i think it will help you so if you like the video uh, give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe our channel i uh, hit the bell button to um, to be notified from the future videos and i will request you to um, spread our channel to subscribe all of them to friends and colleagues so that everyone can get benefited uh, from our videos thank you very much and hope to see you in the next videos